سلامت الله شيخ ماي كوستشن از اباوت جلسه الاستراء اباوت وات وين جلسه الاستراء وين اوكي جيت اب فروم يس اند ماي كوستشن از ذن وين شود وي سي الله اكبر وين وي ار جيتنج ذا اب فروم سجود اور وين وي ار جيتنج اب فروم ذا جلسه الاستراء بوزيشن اي هاف ماي اون اوبينيون ان ذس ريجاردز اند ذس از ماي اون اوبينيون اند ذات از Jalsat al istiraha is the short pause where you sit when you rise from the second sujood of your first raka to the second raka or from your third raka to your fourth raka. So when I rise up from sujood, I pause by sitting down and then I stand up again. And this is backed by the hadith of Malik ibn al Huwayrith, may Allah be pleased with him, when he prayed in front of his companions to teach them how the Prophet ﷺ used to pray. And none of the companions or his friends or uh, uh, the contemporaries of the Prophet ﷺ commented by saying, no, this is wrong. And the hadith is in Al-Bukhari. So it's the highest grade of uh, uh, authentic hadith. And this is in Al-Shafi'i Madhab, part of the recommended Sunnah. And uh, Sheikh Al-Albani also recommends it. Sheikh Ibn Baz says that if you do it, it's good. If you don't do it, it's okay as well. So when does a person offer takbir? If you're alone or you are praying behind an imam, once you rise from su the second sujood, you say, Allahu Akbar. You pose a little bit and you stand up. There's no problem in that because nobody's following you. If you are the imam, this becomes problematic because a lot of the Muslims don't know this sunnah. So if you say, well, sujood, and you rise and say, Allahu Akbar, and you sit, everybody behind you would say, subhanAllah, subhanAllah, thinking that you're, you're mistaken and you're sitting for the tashahud, not knowing that you're a couple of seconds, you're going to stand up. To avoid confusion, it's best that you rise up, sit, and while you're standing from this sitting position, you say Allahu Akbar and everything uh, goes normally, insha'Allah.